Okay, welcome to another prepared flight simulator video. This is prepared version 2.1. We're back here with the Raptor, so that means we're going to be looking at some part of the world. Try to keep these videos down to about 10 minutes, so let me start the stopwatch now so I can keep track of the time. We are landed at uh, near near Mount Everest. Uh, this video was requested by AME2190. He says maybe you could do a fly around to the Himalayans and Mount Everest if there are any airports around there. Now, I don't know the, uh, the airports around the world, so I had to do a Google search, and I found that um, at VNKT in Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, there's an airport. And it says here, from this airport, if we climb to at least 13,000 feet and track 96 degrees for about 70 nautical miles, then we should get... Uh, let's see actually what it says. Now turn on terrain mode on your GPS. So basically, somewhere over that way, hopefully we'll be able to see it. I'm not going to be able to turn on the VOR because I don't know how to do that in the Raptor. All right, let's get going. Let me turn that menu bar off, and I have to right-click out on the desktop area, hit hide menu bar, and I've got to do that twice because there's some graphical thing going on there where it doesn't accept it the first time you do it. Let's zoom in a little bit because that 0.3, whatever it is, is kind of far out. All right, let's uh, get into the sky. We've already wasted a whole minute on the ground. And uh, what was that heading I said? 97 or something? I'll have to tab back out and look once I get in the, once I get in the air. All right, we're up. Let's raise the landing gear. Make sure the gear is going up. It is. Oh, wow. Let's get up. I always have to kind of look outside to make sure the landing gear is coming up because the uh, sometimes it doesn't work and part of that is because uh, sometimes I take off and I forget to raise it and then I end up over speeding the aircraft and you can't raise the landing gear once you're going too fast. The other problem is that I have the I have it mapped to a key on the keyboard. I have one of the joystick buttons mapped to a key to the G key on the keyboard but it doesn't always work in prepared. I don't know that that necessarily has anything to do with prepared or if it's just my keyboard mapping thing that's not working right, but whatever. I do the same thing in Orbiter. I've got a key on the joystick, or i got a button on the joystick mapped in Orbiter to raise the landing gear, but it always works in Orbiter. Okay, I think it was like 90 something, 96. Let me have the alt tab back out and look, but I think, I think it was over this way. And I can see some pretty high mountains out there, so that's probably right. You know, probably looks a little weird as I'm tilting my head, or I'm tilting, I'm banking the vessel like that, and I'm also tilting my head, but it's just natural, maybe. So I'm seeing, like, I, like over here, it looks to me like it's about the highest peak. So let's go full blast, warp speed, Mr. Sulu. Get over there quickly. And while I'm doing that, let me put in a little bit of elevator trim to keep the uh, velocity vector above the horizon, although it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now it's working. And I want to keep the velocity vector just above the horizon, not too far up. Because I don't want to climb really high. I want to keep most of the thrust going into the forward part so we can uh, get over there quickly. Now let me alt tab real quickly and check that heading. Yeah, 96 degrees for about 70 nautical miles. And hopefully we can make it that far. The Raptor burns through fuel just incredibly fast. I mean, if, it, if this is realistic, I can't imagine how this thing gets anywhere in the real world. I mean, they must have to bring these things in on um, aircraft carriers in the, in the ocean and then have them fly, you know, just a few miles inland and then come back and refuel. It's just ridiculous how fast this thing burns through fuel. Look at that. We've already burned 35% of our fuel. We haven't gone anywhere, really. I mean, granted, we're going so fast that... We are covering a lot of ground quickly, but... So, I get. I mean, we should be looking basically at Mount Everest. I mean, I don't know what it would look like otherwise in the, uh, in the simulator, but I don't know if that's the peak there, like that's the summit, or if it's over here or what, but basically this is the area. So we did, we did uh, get our... We did take off from the airport that was given to us, on that website and we flew at about that heading. Granted, we're a little bit north of the heading that it gave us, but that was on purpose because when we took off, you know, we had to bank around so it 
so maybe if we bank now back to this way we'll be more on track but you know, we're getting we're getting up there I mean you can see if the, if this is if we're at 17,000 feet now if that's what that number means then you can see the ground is quickly catching up to us and I forget what the exact elevation is of Mount Everest but it's like 23,000 feet I think I'll have to check it out so it's gonna bank over this way it looks to me like the summit or the high point might be boy I don't know it actually looks like Let's see, it almost looks like there's two. Like one here, one here. Let's start at this one first. It looks closer. Let's just see how high that one is, and then we'll go to the other one. And there might even be one more out there. Maybe that's the summit. Be interesting to find out. This might, if we if we have to, we'll go a little bit over 10 minutes on this video because I'd like to see this myself. Again, cool suggestion, and if I can find the uh, of an airport near the Himalayas, I might do that one as well. Yeah, that, that must be feet over here, and we're at about 20,000 feet, and the ground is just like right beneath us. Kind of amusing. And right now the velocity vector shows that we're impacting whatever mm, hilltop that is right there. Yeah, and those over there are even higher yet, so we'll definitely bank over that way. All right, and in fact, I'm going to do it now because we know now that that's not the summit. So let's bank around. We've got an even higher peak over here. So now we're at 22,000 feet. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the summit. Cause I really, I th seem to recall reading that Mount Everest was uh, somewhere around 23,000 feet. It must be a little higher than that because we're already at. 23.8. Let me hit B to set the barometer just to make sure that it's already set. All right, 24,000. It must be, must be even higher than that. Maybe it's 27,000. Seems to me like it was some odd number, but it must be that peak right there because I don't see anything else around here that's any higher. Surely it's not all the way over there. Well, in any regard, at any rate where you're certainly close. But, I mean, think about that. You're flying at 27,000 feet. And off the top of my head, I don't know how that turns breaks down into kilometers, but you're flying at 20,000 feet, 27,000 feet, and you can reach out and touch the ground. That's pretty cool. So we got the velocity vector right on the peak, a little bit below the peak. We're at 28,000. We'll be at 28.5 here in just a moment. Let's actually make sure we get over the peak, though, and not crash into it. But I just want to go barely over the top here. Look at that. We're just going to barely scrape it. 29,000, something like that. Pretty cool. And let's bank back around this way. Still got a couple minutes here we can fly. Oh my god, look at our fuel. We're down to 5% fuel. Isn't it amazing how fast this thing burns through the fuel? So, well, we're close enough to 10 minutes anyway, and we're out of gas. So we're going to crash here somewhere in the Mount Everest area, and uh, I'd say there's absolutely no chance for rescue. So our poor pilot here is going to die just so he could show us the highest point in the world on a video game. R.I.P. Mr. Pilot. Well, if you like this part of the video, hit the like button. And if for some reason you didn't like it, that's okay too. Hit the don't like button. We're out of gas. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and you're interested in all this flight sim stuff. It's mostly Orbiter that I do on this channel. I like it the best and spend the most time with it, so that's what you'll see primarily. Ooh, lots of uh, bank ankle there. And uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next video.